welcome. My name is Elizabeth. We're outside on my porch right now. Um, but I am here to share with you today my spring home tour of our 1800s Queen Anne Victorian home built around 1890. We're out on my porch. It's a Let's head on inside. It's nice and cozy in here. But here we are entering into our home. You start off in our parlor or the foyer. This room just got a big makeover. All of the stenciling here I did by hand. It really warmed up the space, so nice. And then we have some nice pops of green for spring. I always love to use hydrangeas in my spring decorating. Okay, so that is our entrance, entryway, foyer, parlor, whatever you wanna call it. There it is. Such a nice room to walk into. Here is our main living room. I really love how this room is coming together. It's changed so much over the last year and a half, two years that we've lived in the house. My style has uh, really evolved. It started very cottage core, shabby, chic kind of French country. And I think it's evolving into more of a French, European farmhouse, English countryside kind of a look. I think this, the character of the home lends itself to a little bit more of a traditional decor scents and I'm trying to honor the home and really let it speak to me so that nothing I put in here fights with it that it just highlights like all of the beautiful woodwork that feels cozy and fun and ins inspiring Almost all of the decor that you see is thrifted, um, picked, <laughs> rescued, salvaged, most of it that is. I love to shop secondhand for one of a kind unique things and that's a lot of what I do on my channel. I take you along with me on my thrifting adventures and we find vintage and antique home decor. These 
these windows just deserve a big spotlight. So I thought that this floral arrangement would do the trick and I think it's perfect for spring. That bright citrusy green livens up the space so much. I just love it. And these are actually from Hobby Lobby. So I suggest if they still have them, grab yourself some because these are the most realistic looking hydrangea stems I have ever seen. And then a little trick I like to do is to put a little water at the bottom. Once again, to kind of fool your eye even more to make them look real. Lots of arches in our home. Craftsmanship. Oh, the craftsmanship a hundred and some years ago. It's just wonderful. And we enjoy it so, so much. I always like to say this home is like a decorator's dream. <laughs> it's so inspiring. So I kept it simple with just tulips and hydrangeas for the most part in here. Just adding that touch of greenery really makes it feel like spring. And then I also popped some little nests in, see if my kids see them. And it looks like they have been playing with the eggs. Just my little nod to spring. going to take you into our little breakfast room, our little cafe here. We use this room probably more than any other room in the house, believe it or not. It's just right off the kitchen. It's more casual, um, comfy, cozy. It's got some nice bright lighting. And I have pops of yellow in here for spring, which are so cheerful. Blue and yellow in the cafe. <laughs> some fresh lemons in a thrifted basket and some plaid napkins. Again, I love blue, especially for spring. Some more of those tulips over there. My kids do a lot of crafting in here, so they have all their crayons and markers and coloring books in that little thrifted cabinet that I found for $8, and it's so perfect. Right there, they can just grab their things, which is nice. Their little table that I gave a makeover to. So yeah, I love this room. I like to use a lot of toile in here. It's my favorite pattern. Some 
Here is our Facebook Marketplace hutch that kind of doubles as a pantry since we don't have a pantry in this home. We need all the storage we can get. But it got a big makeover. I also have that on my channel. The whole process before and after. I'll let you peek in our downstairs bathroom because it is decorated for spring somewhat. My next plan is to wallpaper in here. Perfect little room for some wallpaper. But I like to use a lot of lavender in here. Lavender and that pretty sagey green color. Just a cute small little bathroom. All right, next we'll go into our small but functional and beautiful kitchen. I've been doing a lot of work in here over the last few months, making it my own. It was very modern farmhouse with a lot of black and the white, and I wanted to make it just look a little bit more Parisian, <laughs> like a Euro cottage kind of a feel. And I think I'm getting there for sure. stuff that's thrifted in here. But I popped in some plants for spring. This is actually a really neat piece. It's actually an antique scale. It's missing the actual scale part that would have gone from here to here. But I am using it to hold my dish sponge and brush there. Just thought that would be kind of a unique way to use it and then enjoy it. It's such a cool, cool piece. Never thought I would own anything like that, but I love it. And it was a gift from my father-in-law, so it makes it even more special. And then also for spring, I just popped in some of this Faux greenery, like a seeded garland from Hobby Lobby. Make it look like fresh herbs or something. And then of course we have the real flowers, these hyacinths, and they smell so delicious. Very small kitchen, but it's bright and light. And I mean, these windows pretty much are worth, <laughs> worth doing it small, having these gorgeous windows to look out of every day doing the dishes. My little island here is actually something that's been in the family for a really long time. And it's been painted 
and it's the perfect little island for our tiny little kitchen. go into our laundry room. This is just another nice bright light room, lots of windows. So it might be a little hard to show you the detail of things with all the light flooding in. But I definitely like to keep this room more cottagey just because of all the shiplap gives off that more casual feel, I think. Everything's always a work in progress. I'm always moving things around, changing things, always dreaming things up. <laughs> I love topiaries. I love to use them as much as I possibly can. And my lampshades here are actually pots, flower pots from Hobby Lobby. And I just placed them on top of these thrifted lamps. And I thought that was so cute for spring, that little bit of floral and the nice baby blue color. So there is an idea for you. All right, I think we just have one more room yet to explore here. But here's our breakfast room again. Flooded with beautiful evening light. And it's a little dark in our dining room, so apologies for that. It's just kind of right in the middle of the house and the windows are higher up. Hopefully, I can get my phone to focus here. There we go. So here is our dining room. It's one of my favorite rooms to decorate. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think because we don't really use this room very often, so it stays the way that I put it and I don't have to clean it quite as much. <clears throat> but I do have a lot happening in here right now. Brought in a lot of nice bright blue, that pretty country blue color. This room is definitely more farmhousey, I think. More of a farmhouse vibe, a little more casual. Lots of floral arrangements. Bird's nests. Love the built-in right there. That's such a nice thing to have. These old homes, usually you'll find a built-in or two. We have a lot more upstairs also, but we're just gonna stay on the main floor in this tour. Kept some bunnies up here for spring, but they probably won't stay up 
too much longer, realistically. Just they remind me so much of Easter. My baker's rack is probably one of my favorite things that I've purchased. And pretty much everything you see on it has been found at a yard sale or a flea market or a thrift store. So each one of these gorgeous stained and crazed pictures probably paid a couple dollars for each. So pretty proud of that collection. Creaky floors. Over here is the hutch that my mom gave me when I moved into this house. So it's a special piece. Her mom gave it to her and it's an antique. So I just have a simple collection of things in here. Can never have too many pegs. <laughs> Then over here for spring, we have a bird's nest, some eggs, there we go, now we're getting some light in here. So thank you so much for visiting our Queen Anne Victorian home. And I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, also, I'll see you over on Instagram at Old Maple Home. All right. Have a beautiful and blessed spring.